Hello. Hey everyone, sorry we are at Scotch. The Scotch. A Scotchy late. Just um, But welcome, how are you guys doing? Say hello when you come in. I'm gonna share this a few pages, places. Pages, um, it's pages. It's been a busy day and craziness. <laughs> um, so uh, let me share this. Sean will say hi as you guys come in. Greetings, I love it hi Jill. Shared this with your friends and family that might be interested in Chalk Couture. Yes. And we are also, of course, on YouTube. So give me one sec, guys. YouTube. Here. We are at YouTube. Let me see, give me a brief moment. I'll get to that one too. Where's my restream? There it is. Well, we said, hi, Jill, Michelle, hello, Tina, Melissa, Garcia, Inez, Michelle, Olsa, and Carol. Yes, we missed you yesterday, too, but, of course, we have a big... We'll chat about that we'll in a quick sec. The Triple P is in. Hello, hello, Purple. The Triple... Oh, P, I get it. Yeah, Purple. I was like, there's Paisley no called Planet. Purple P. Triple, triple P. People eat Annie, hello, Rebecca. Do you remember hello, that song? Valerie. Which one? It was a one-eyed, one-horned, one 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 flying purple, purple people, people eater. eater. Yes, oh. I did. Oh, okay. yes. Alidra, um... Chatting and chalking with Linda B. Seriously, my system is so Aloha. Slow. What's that? Your oh, system? Goodness. Oh, I know. It's crazy. It's because, it, fun fact, the more places you're logged in on Facebook, the slower it rolls. I know. Barbara, Anita, Jackie, Kathy, Barbara, Margaret, Don, Andrea, Melanie Moore, Angela, George, hi, buddy. Tina, hello. So bear with me while I'm sharing this. It's taking its sweet little time. Sweet little time. I almost wonder if I logged out all of these things and just keep restreaming. Don't worry about the us. Would that help? You think? It's because you're logged in, Jazzy's logged in, I'm logged in I can log on multiple out. iPads. It's no problem. Don't right. worry about it. You just keep saying hi to everyone, Sean. Ooh, it kind of... Uh-oh, what happened? Uh-oh. I had it there and now it disappeared. Oh, well. Go back to restream here. JL, Jackie, Jackie B, Killian, Denise, Norma, Katrina, Catherine, Toby is better, Kathleen, Stamp. All right. You, since this is taking forever, why don't you explain uh, what happened with Toby and that whole process? Because so, people will be asking for sure. So Toby, who sits behind me. <laughs> He loves to sit back here. Um, Saturday was fine. Sunday he seemed a little more uh, raspy sounding. Um, it sounded like he had pneumonia. Pneumonia, yeah. So I checked. Uh, um, I checked his temperature, and it was a little over normal. And I said, "Okay, we'll give it an hour and see what happens." And it, he just was trying to cough something up, and of course, dogs have a hard time coughing little phlegms and stuff. And then I checked it in an hour, and an hour later, it went up to one hundred and four. Well, there was some stuff in between there, so we. We checked it, it was 103, mm -hmm. and then we were afraid he had a respiratory infection. Yes, exactly. And so we gave him meds for that. Yes. Um, we thought maybe he was anxious. Mm -hmm. And then I told Sean, should we take him in? He said, no, we'll monitor it. And then you took his yes. temperature again. Yeah, I took it again, and at that point it was 104.3, and I said, no, we're going to need to take him in. I thought you said it was 105.8. No, 104.3. Oh. That was the highest that we saw it. So at that point, we got him down to the ER, and they... They said, At this yeah. point, he wasn't eating or drinking too. He wouldn't he take it. Yeah, nothing. it was very hard to ha have him take anything. Um, but, of course, the reason with that is that after the, he did get his x-rays and stuff, he had a very bloated tummy with a lot of air. So he probably felt extremely full, maybe too full because of that. Um, throughout the night, they had him walk around, and they were trying to depress his abdomen to get all that gas out and air out, so it must have happened. Because he, when I picked him up this morning, his temperature was down to 100.3, which is the norm. Yes. So yeah, he is doing good now. We got to pick him up. He made it through, and he's just been really sleepy all day. But that's probably because mm. of the drugs they gave him. Okay, yes. I can't share it anywhere else because it okay. hurts me. It hurts you. <laughs> All what, right, guys. What's going on in Dallas, Nancy? I haven't heard. How we, is it going? So I'm going to go ahead and dive right in, take off all this stuff. Um, ah. We've had a crazy busy day because we were editing other videos, mm -hmm. doing some other stuff. Yes. Um, so it's been crazy productive. And today I'm going to be doing a double board. 
if you've never seen that, that's when I take a board, put it in a board, and we create fun, yes, funness. Lots of fun. Um, so before we dive into that, though, if you know anyone interested in Chaka Tour, we would love mm -hmm. to be their designer. There's three different ways you can experience Chaka Tour. You can, of course, shop from our retail site. All the links are down below. Mm -hmm. We also would love to be your leader if you want to become a designer. As a designer, you get 40% off the entire catalog. You get the ability to earn commission. You get the ability to be part of our team page. And if you're not sure if you're ready to join, I do have an opportunity group that goes over all the benefits of joining and requirements. And last but not least, if you're someone that's like, I think I like it, but I'm not 100% sure, and you like getting Happy Mail, we have something called Club Couture. Our Club Couture members get an exclusive B-size transfer every month in three pay singles for $19.99, and they get exclusive deals in our mm -hmm. exclusive Super Duper Secret Facebook page. Yep, well if you do do Club Couture, we kind of think that the best way to go is to also grab your starter kit. It's out of stock. Which so. is out of stock, but it is a nice little it starter is. kit. But it's out of stock currently. It's horrible <laughs> when that happens. But it's nice to have along with it. But yes. Anyway, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to be starting the project um, mm -hmm. here with the. This is our um, diagonal palette frame. So this is reclaimed. This is part of our new reclaimed line. Mm -hmm. And so it's called the reclaimed diagonal palette. And what I love about this palette is you can use it like this, mm -hmm. or you can use it with the ledge, which is what we're going to use. Yep. And I am going to paint this because it comes in kind of, would you say, a gray color? It is a gray. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely, a, it is a nice gray too. It's, it's nice. a beautiful gray. Don't get me wrong, but we're painting it a beautiful yeah. white. Oh, there was tornadoes in Dallas. Ooh, gosh. Ooh, yes. Hope everybody's see. fine. Yes. So I may have had a little bit of a moment yesterday kind of caused by all of you guys. So I, of course, was already stressed out because we had to take Toby Joseph in. Yeah, so. Which is hard. And then of course you get there and it's a two hour wait. I mean, they take him back right away because he was already a patient and of his high fever and stuff. But then you sit there for two hours and watch all the sick dogs come in, all the sick cats come in. You see the owners leaving crying, which you know was never great news. Never fun. And um, I told Sean, I'm like, it's just so depressing here. And he's like, well, it's just like the emergency room. And of course, I posted, you know, hey, we're not going to be doing our live tonight um, because we have to take him into the, you know, into the emergency bed. And you guys are so good. Everyone's, you know, um, texting me, how's he doing? And I told Sean, well, I need to, when we left the emergency bed, I told Sean, um, oh, I need to go post an update because people... You know, they want updates, but they also know, like, they don't want to bug us. And I posted an update as soon as we got in the car at the emergency vet. Within six minutes, you guys, we had 49 comments. Mm, and okay. I, of course, started crying. And Sean's like, it's okay. He'll be fine. And I said, no. I said, I go, I, this is what I don't think people get is... The amount of love. Oh, I know. Lots of love. It's, and it's we, amazing. And it's all you guys. And we thank you very much for... Like, I start crying because I'm like, it's just in times like this when you're already stressed and you know there are people out there that say like, oh, you overreact over dogs or just a dog or, you know, they're just a this. Well, to us, they're not. They're more. They're much more. But, you know, you always wonder if other people get that or not. So mm -hmm. I just want to thank all of you guys for the support. A lot of people messaged me. Uh, it brought me to tears just to feel that love. Absolutely. Me too. And I mean, all the good vibes because now he is behind me sitting happy. Still a little stinky. Not as bad though. Now that he's on his normal food. Yes. All right. So um, that was my little story I wanted to share mm -hmm. with you. Um, so I am going to be doing a couple different coats on this. There. So this is the first coat. Um, down below in the links, there is a link that says Ken Recommends. And you'll see a link to... Uh, this on my other YouTube channel, the Ken's Creations Normal YouTube channel, where I go into detail about this paint and how you use it. Mm -hmm. um, so now that I have my first coat, I'm paying really close attention into these corners because I am doing it kind of the backwards way. Um, now you do not need to paint these. These come fully painted. I'm just painting it to because I'm doing a double board. Uh, for you, those, I think it was George. That's how big the board is. 12 by 18 or 30 and a half centimeters by 45.7 centimeters. 
Sorry, Tobes. Sorry, Tobes. I'm going to set, um, this is what I love about this paint is it does not take long to dry. So we're already going to put down our second coat. We won't be using this board until a little bit later in the project. So we'll give it time to dry. Um, some people say, do you wax it? I very rarely, even after painting wax, um, you can. But if you use the right paint and it has a good chalky finish, there shouldn't be overly reason to wax. Now, if you are someone in a humid area, um, like our friend Mel, she lives down, well, she's not there right now. I think she's still on vacation. I could be wrong, but yeah, she is. Um, if you're in Florida or something, you might want to wax because of humidity. Um, like our friend in New Jersey always wax, so just kind of depends. It all depends. If you're having always trouble, if you're having troubles, go to that. Hello, Maisha. She's still figuring if she wants to do a oh, yes. tour or join. Yes, me. It is a, What choice are you doing? It is. It's a choice. I always tell people, take your time making that decision. Mm -hmm. Ken never takes his time. I just jump in. And then I say, what is the, what do you mean there's this and this? And they said, Ken, didn't you read before you jumped in? No. Who does that? That's not normal <laughs> behavior. So yeah, yesterday we, we sadly didn't go 40. So I think she, is it, uh, Maisha, is that your official name then? Is that what we oh. should be looking for? Is that the email I'm looking for? I think so. I'm going to say yes. Did I send you an email back yet? I don't know. Because that name doesn't look familiar either, but I could be wrong. Yes, yeah, she is indecisive. Nope, it's not indecisive. No. You are... You are looking at what choice. Yep, you are doing exactly what I tell everyone to do. Yep. Research, take your time, ask other questions. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, and uh, Donna says she 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 waxes because she's in Florida. Yep. Where are we going to Melodies? We'll probably go uh, just before um, Chalk Tours, um, what do you call it? Convention. Convention, sorry. Chalk. I couldn't even, yeah, Chalk on because uh, we'll be down there. And we want to go, and we want to go early. We're going to be doing our last coat here. Um, Ooh, that's a good question, Jill. The reason I'm doing three coats, normally I don't do three coats because I don't mind kind of this textured distress look. So the gray is coming through kind of the white and giving us this nice little gray. But I do specifically want the borders to match because we're going to be gluing this inside of our Sylvie frame and it's got a pure white frame. So I want it to match as close as possible. So Jill has had a good question. Since the Club Couture starter kit is backward, is there a chance I can get it at a later date? Yes. Oh, Why, I'm so glad yes. you asked that. I reached out to my corporate office because um, this has been a question on a lot of people's when they try to join and it wasn't. Um, yes, as long as you, once they're back in stock, uh, just reach out to corporate office and of course in my club couture group I'll give that information mm -hmm. let them know you wanted it at the time but it was out of stock and they will absolutely honor that discount for you I need a chalk con will be July 15th no, it's later it's like the 12th or sooner year. sooner than the 15th but later than normal I mean it's later than it used to be but I think it's later than the 15th if I remember right 
Yeah, it's in July this time, not June. Yeah. And it'll be at, um, it's going to be on property at the Universal, Universal Studios. at the one Sapphire? Of the, Sapphire. Something, I think. Yeah, it's a new new hotel. That's newer. A, newer. It's not brand new, but it's newer. And we're trying to work it out because we've never been, well, Sean has a long, a long time, time ago, ago, but I've never been to the Florida theme parks and it's always Anchor been, mm-hmm. you know, a dream. And we've always said we'd get there and then we got super busy and then I said, well, now that we're... You know, working from home, maybe we can do it. And we've never gotten the time. And so I said, well, if we're going to be down there, we're going to take full advantage. Of course. And hit all the parks. So I don't know how long. I mean, in a perfect world, I would love to be down there three weeks because we want to hit all the parks. But that's a long time to be away from my dogs. Robin says she PM'd you on Facebook about, about Club Couture letter. Cool. A letter? She said Club Couture letter. Okay, perfect. How did everybody come up with their names for their businesses? I'm having a hard time figuring it out. Well, I um, originally was going to be Ken's Creative Cards, and I was being cheeky and using all K's until my niece said, um, that's not a good idea. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. And so it changed to, do I want to do Creative Ken or Ken's Creations? I chose Creative Ken, set up my blog, and then Sean was like, you know, I really like Ken's Creations. Yes. And so I changed it to Ken's Creations, hence why my blog is Creative Ken and my name's Ken's Creations. However, even if I did want Ken's Creations, someone already has that site name. So they're a baker. Jessica did a What's the Love Chocolate? She did today. Oh, how nice. Is that why she was calling? Um, She was calling just to check on Toby. Uh, She was calling at that specific time and left me a message because she's doing a chocolate bond. So you only get a quick break in between those. Yes, you do. Toby is good for those who just joined. Okay, Toby guys, is so doing I'm going to let better. this do its final dry, air dry. Um, and we're going to set it over by Sean to air dry. We're not going to be chalking on it for a couple minutes. So we can always add a final coat if we need to. This up for those who again for those who just joined us. Uh, Toby is doing doing well. He's right behind me. Um, he had uh, what's called aspirated or aspiration pneumonia. It is a side effect of the surgery that he had three weeks ago today. So it's always, it could be expected. You always hope it doesn't, but it did. What was that, Sean? What kind of pneumonia he got? Aspirated pneumonia. So his mo- pneumonia was caused you can just set it on the floor over there or i think oh i can actually set it in here i think okay i think um so his pneumonia was caused by him his surgery his uh surgery he had okay so the two transfers we are going to be using tonight is the holiday tree background so this is a 18 by 18 background and then the O christmas tree farm and What's I'm trying to get this out from under. Toby him. is not moving from us. No. That poor guy keeps on probably thinking, if these guys take me to this vet place one more time. Well, don't get sick. Anymore. And then um, we went to go back. They let us say goodbye to him at least this time. We didn't get that the first time. And they had him in a, a chamber to keep him cool, mm-hmm. but it wasn't very cold in there. And of course, I go into Mama Bear and I'm like, you need to cool it down in there. And of course, Sean's like, there, you know. He's in the best hands, don't worry, and I'm like... Oh, thanks, Leslie. July 11 and 12. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you. All right, Sean. Sapphire Falls Resort. Thank you. Thank you again, Leslie. I love my team. Mm. The best team. All right, Sean, I'm going to go grab my chocolate milk. Will you fuzz that for me? I can.
Now, last time I was down there, there was no Universal. There was no Animal Park. I was down there in 1985-86. So that was the last time I was at Disney World slash Epcot. So if you ever worked, with, if you ever work or have not ever worked with a larger um, transfer like size C on up, you should always do it this way. Pull the back off first. This way you don't have the opportunity of getting the transfer to stick on Sean, itself because that's not fun. Uh oh, yum yums. Here you go. Oh my. The infamous Kool Aid popcorn. Well, I prefer my Jello popcorn more. Me too. I told him yesterday. This is how dark of a humor I have. It's gonna be a little crunchy in my mouth. So, microphone. turn off your mic then. Or crunch and then turn off your mic. I did. Defeats the purpose of. I couldn't. I had so, I always give Sean a hard time because he likes the, the Kool Aid popcorn, is something we discovered on our own. And the Jello popcorn is my mom slash aunt's recipe. So, last night when he was eating his watermelon Jello popcorn, he was like, oh, I love this one so much and he didn't say better he just kind of stopped and he said i'm telling my mom right now and i went over to her little urn and i said sean hates your popcorn and then he goes i do not don't forget your mics off you're welcome um, yes, he is on antibiotics they gave him iv antibiotics throughout the evening uh last night and then uh because he did was doing so well our doctor our vet said go ahead and uh Put him on oral, so he's on oral now. So it should be fine. What is Kool-Aid popcorn? It's like making caramel corn, I guess, is what so people call it. So the jello popcorn I make is literally, you just take caro syrup, sugar, and jello, and basically mix it all together, come to a boil, and then you just pour it over the popcorn. Let's and it's it really chewy and yummy and deliciousness. Um, Kool-Aid popcorn is really good too, but you actually put it in with Kool-Aid and baking powder. Soda. And then baking soda. Baking soda, excuse me. And then it cooks up. That's right. They're both really good. Yes. So it's like, that's, that's I guess, the way they do um, caramel corn, I guess. Baking it, baking soda the whole bit. So kind of the same way. All right. So there's a little bit of water or something. Or did I say it? Maybe gone already gone away. Oh, it's right here, but there's it's a, gonna be behind the board. Right? Yeah, and there's all well, that's gonna be behind the board too. I was yeah. gonna say there's a bubble there. Yeah. Would you like to do the no, project? I'm just helping out. No, I love it, but you have comments. <laughs> I know. I, I would love watching. for you to do the the project, but you always tell me no. So this board is the large, large board. So this is the 18 by 24 board. This is the Sylvie. It's personally, I love the Sylvie boards because it has that nice beveled edge. Mm -hmm. All right. I didn't think I was going to have to, but I'm going to have to. Yeah, it is going to be hot there in July, I know. I've been there <laughs> in July. <laughs> All right. Sorry, guys. I thought I was going to make it through, but I've already nicked it twice. I'm going to, there's my owie from the, this is why I need the pink finger thingies. Finger condoms. I really don't think they're called that even on Amazon. I think yeah. they must call them something different because I could be wrong. Here, is your mic off? Turn it be. No, it says it's on. Yeah, it's on. Maybe you can't hear me because I'm getting so soft in my old age. <laughs> All right, so I'm re-putting this on because Sean had me paranoid about stuff. Now, we could do stripes. We could do a whole bunch of different things. I'm just going to do my typical hot mess on this um and really i think only the top third of it's going to show but just to make sure we have a nice one you could do i don't want it to be too uniform because it should be trees in all different colors so um you guys have seen me do my hot mess a bazillion times it's super easy you just make circles everywhere of course i don't need to go this far down but we might as well And then we grab our second color. I do the three main greens. We do have a uh, rainforest green, which is really pretty. I It's a very, um, Sean would call it a bright, 
Christmas green. Like mm -hmm. it's a, it's, it's a, not a Kelly green, but you can grab it. It's right there. This one here. Mm -hmm. I love it's, it. Don't get it's me wrong, it's very vivid. It's, it's a very vivid green. But it doesn't, in my opinion, play well with these three. And these are more like kind of your tree, typical tree colors. I don't know. You guys can tell me in the comments what you like or don't like. I like it. I just don't think it goes well with the other greens. They're called finger cots. Okay, that sounds dirty too. C O T S, cots, like a cot. You have an issue on your hands developing, just to let you know. Who does? Oh. Why else? Should we go in the back? All right, so I'm Come just on. taking my four inch squeegee. Let's go to the back. And I'm gonna hit all of the pesto okay. first. Let's go to the back, come on. Now that I have the pesto done, I'm just gonna get the excess off. Then I'm gonna hit my green envy. You're being very natty. And now I'm just gonna kind of mix with the colors here. And this is where kind of that hot mess name gets. This one I'm doing a little bit more deliberate on trying to make it not as messy because obviously I want the, cre the greens to kind of stand out on it. Raised enough lights to do 40 lights, wow. What was nice. that? They said her chocolate did well, so they think she made uh, did enough to do 40 lights. That's awesome. Yeah. Go sister from another mister. Mm hmm I love lots of love, you guys. I am I went to an appointment today to talk to my shrink. Yes, I have one. No comments. Um and he talked a lot about Africa and human humanitarian efforts. Pretty. Okay. I will be right back. I'm gonna do this little sloppy thing real quick. And then dry. This little what? You have a couple splotches on the Just frame. Just remember, it might be behind the board and won't need to be fixed. Oh, that's, well, I'm talking right here. Oh, it? gotcha. Yeah, on the edge. Get that before it stains, but you can still take care of it. All right, a little noise here with the hair dryer. Bear with us. Pretty cool, isn't it? Let me give you a better look here. Thank you, Sean. Mm -hmm. Somebody says when we book our room for the uh, the sapphire mm -hmm. to also get a a cabana. It's very very fun. Ooh. Cabana Look by at the all pool. you guys, professional inside tip. I know. <clears throat> Tippers, man. Whew. All right, so we are gonna do the same thing we just did at the top on the bottom, um, but we wanna make sure that this is dry because we want to line that pattern up again. So, did you dry it or just start it to start? No, it's already done. It should be good to go. If you want a little more, you can. Yeah, here, oh, I got it. That's gonna go. Oh, oh, oh. Go around you. Oh, that's why I just. So, the reason I did the hot mess a little different than I normally do is I really wanted stark contrast. So, like this tree right there in the middle there, um, this guy here, he's half light green, half dark green. Let me turn on the above light, that's usually off by now. I didn't even realize. I wasn't saying it was your fault. Ooh, look at it. Behind scenes. We were doing our Cricut Maker versus Cricut Explore video today. Mm -hmm. and there's all of our, my I know it's, little. What is a cabana? That's usually a very nice uh, covered Whoa, there's area a with the beds. Well, there's a cabana boy. Yeah, cabana boys. 
uh, it's anyway, it's usually like a, a king size or even bigger uh, place to lie down, have your stuff. It's covered. Sometimes it's got curtains, so you and can they close go it all quick. off if you want. Yes, and they're usually very expensive, and they go very quick. So, even when we went to, uh, whenever we go to the Silhouette Summit, we go to Disney Aulani, and theirs go quick. Yep. Okay, I am going to add just a little bit of distilled water. I've been getting this question more and more and more on why does my mold or why does mold grow in my water so the longer we are around obviously this will come up more but if you've had your paste our paste is supposed to last about a year if you do not use distilled water and you're just using tap water it will grow mold because distilled water as sean has thoroughly trained me now is uh water at its purest form as they can get it. I'm sure there yeah. might be one more Pureness, but it's pretty Pureness. close. Pureness. 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 I don't know. Periodness? That doesn't sound yeah, right. Period. Are you sure? Pureness. <laughs> um, and I have to say, ever since I've started using distilled water, because I just started distilled water because it's recommended for our mister. And, oh, I was giving that to Sean to show you, but I, I see he's done. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Right. It's fine. I was reading. Fine. Uh, somebody says, Sapphire Files, question mark. Uh, definitely do a cabana. Oh. That's another person that says definitely do it. Well, we'll try to remember that a year from now. Yeah. All right. So now that I have water in those just to protect it and make sure they don't dry out, I am going to dry this guy. So the way I dry my transfers right out of the wash is put them sticky side down. This is just a wood top on our husky drawer. So you could put it on... Um, countertops. I very rarely let my transfer stay out long enough to not dry them. So a lot of people air dry their transfers. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I just have had it where, like if we accidentally fall asleep and we forgot to pick them up, sometimes smaller transfers will lose their stick in the air because you got to think there's particles in the air and so. Does dog hair. Yeah. Dog hair is our big one that we try to avoid. Now that I've done it sticky side down, I'm going to do it sticky side up. Hey, Jenny. And... Hi, Jenny. Is it, is it raining over there too, like it is it here? It is. It's very dreary. <laughs> very dreary here. All right. So, and this one's pretty wet. So, I'm going to grab my hair dryer. You have that for me? Yes. CPAP machines have to have distilled water too. Yeah. Oh, I forget who shared it with me. I know Donna, um, oh, sorry, I hit the camera, but she had uh, put a brownie face, but someone sent me a, a golden retriever on an air ventilation system, oh getting my. its oxygen, and they said this, like, basically this made me think of Toby because of his breathing and stuff, and I was mm. like, aww. I'm telling you guys, that's the number one reason I do not like going to the vet is emergency is... Obviously, if they're bringing you to the vet emergency, there's a problem. There's a problem. And usually, in years past, anytime I go to the vet emergency, it's always been bad news or the dog has to get put down or oh, what we go through for our babies, guys. That's what I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Send the, rain, send the rain down to Phoenix. We're going to be there in January. I might erase this. Now that I think about it, because my board, if I did one, two, three, one, two, in fact, that's what I'm going to do. So I just realized that my board's going to go in the middle. So it's better for me to um, erase these. So mm -hmm. I'll have one, two, three, maybe the fourth, and then erase these three here. And that will be hidden behind and the board will hide this. So this way I don't have to line it up. It can overlap. I was under the impression not to use blow dryers on, a, on transfers, to dry transfers. Mm. So I, I would not use the hot setting of a blow dryer. No, this has a cool. Um, ours has a cool setting that's basically just pushing air through it. The hot setting definitely can shrink your transfers mm -hmm. and it can, um, so here's the thing, a lot of people will call me and say, hey, I just got a new transfer and it's not sticky. And I'll tell them, oh, have you fuzzed it? 
and washed it and cleaned it. And they say, no, it's not sticky. And they say, I will tell them, please use it a couple times as a fun, just, just amuse me and take a hair dryer and dry it. And then they're like, oh my gosh, it's so sticky. Our this adhesive on the back of our transfers, a lot of people don't know this, is almost a reactive adhesive. Sometimes the more you use it, the stickier it will get um, because that's how these our transfers are designed. They're designed to keep their adhesiveness. Mm -hmm. um, with that said, to whoever said that comment on the hairdryer, absolutely. You don't want to purposely add hot to your transfer, especially if it's face down because it's going to get sticky. <sighs> But we have a cool setting, and we'll use that cool setting a lot to quickly dry our transfers. Yes. And that won't hurt it at all. I'm hoping, and by hoping I mean keep asking them, that we have a uh, drying tool maybe in our next catalog. Who knows? Not a hair dryer, but an actual drying tool. Wouldn't that be awesome? It would be kind of nice. I'm going to take care of this over here. Oh, sorry, I keep hitting that. Usually it's a little further back, but we have a going this way. Um, so you probably can't see it too much on camera, but I have a little bit of paste. It's yellow, so it stands out. Let me see if I can get it up close and show you guys here. You still yeah, there barely it is, right? see it's right it. right there. But our board erasers work great for getting rid of that. You just get it wet, back and forth, and voila. Ugh. Are you okay? Heartburn. I'm sorry. All right, <clears throat> now that we've done that, thanks, Sean. Mm -hmm. Now we can. Yeah, let me dry that one little section here. Ta da! So I'm going to just do these. I'm seeing a bubble right here just because of my angle. There, there it goes. What comments are you seeing? Right now, none. Okay. Everybody's at a standstill. At a standstill. <laughs> oh, Shawnee, you cracked me up. We didn't even really get to watch that many shows this weekend because we were, we went and did an escape room and my best friend Ali said, when I get there, I don't even know what escape, I feel bad because we have like a friend chat and I'm so busy on social media and get tagged and that, that I don't always see it. And so all I knew is Sean was going in the boys and I was going with the girls to keep numbers the same. Even. Even. And I found out that the boys were going in some sort of galactical. Cosmic. Type. It was cosmic. a cosmic one. Yeah. And we were going in haunted room 13 to which Allison said, Oh, don't worry. It's not scary. To which I repeated to her that I do not like haunted houses to which she said, Oh, it's fine. To which I then asked the people that work there, does anything jump out and scare you? No, it's all just a creepy room hotel. Well, they lied. They lied a lot. And <laughs> I do not see the draw of haunted houses. Like I know there's a lot of people that love them, I am not one of them. But you guys did so well because, because you, got, we wanted to you, get guys, you guys got out there faster than we did. Out of there. Yeah, you got, the, you got out faster I will you. say when you do get scared, it is because you're laughing and I, I get that draw, but on the same hand too, why would people want to be scared, Sean? I don't know. You don't mind it. Yeah. Why? Because I know it's not real. But still, your natural instinct is I mean, to... you, you still jump. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I still jump, but... Not fun. I'm hoping this didn't stop because I literally have nothing coming through. Uh oh. Let me check my YouTube. Boy, there is nothing coming on YouTube at all. Are you on the right? You're not on the right channel. That's why. Oh, did he pull? Silly it? Billy. Oh, he didn't bring it up right. It's not always right. He's, he's, he's the one that. He's the one that. All you this guys, I have to deal with this on a daily basis. The both of them blaming each other for everything. That wasn't my fault. That was Sean. That was Ryan. That was this person. 
I tell ya. These, these guys. Jasmine just goes, my bad. And then I'll even find out it wasn't even, she didn't even do the mistake. And she's like, what am I going to do? Sit there and tell you it was someone else? So I'm going to do a re reboot, re reload of the restream here. Sorry, guys. Sorry if I missed some some uh, chit chat. He was so worried about my bubbles and telling me what to do in my project. Here we go. Good evening. Hello, Sheila. Horror movies are my favorite, says Jamie Leonard. Oh. Jamie, what is wrong with you? It's the rest, just like going on a roller coaster. I love the roller coaster, don't get yeah, me wrong. I love those. But I am not a fan of being purposely scared. No, Kathy, I have not. I just noticed that it stopped. So now we're back. Now we're back. We're good. Weird. He was so busy telling me what I was doing wrong, he wasn't watching his own job. Just saying. Well, every once in a while, things will stop for a moment. Just saying, Sean. I need to do a like a Shane Dawson series of behind the scenes, the real truth of Ken's creation so people can see. Because even Ryan called you out today, didn't he? About what? Being nice and saying please and mm -hmm. thank you. Yes. Because Sean comes off very demanding at times. Did Maybe I that's just... why Ryan decided not to stay tonight. Maybe. Did I hear that Miss Jessica is in the room? I'm trying to see what we got here. Boo, 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 boo. Okay. Hello, hello. Oh, he's being nice. Don't worry about it. It's all, it's all a goodie. So Kathleen, we used uh, the three colors we used are uh, pe pesto, sage, and meadow. And those are the three greens we just used. <laughs> wicked chicken transfer. What was that? Oh, somebody said something about wicked chicken transfer. So they're still in stock, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we're done with the base of the board. It can chillax now. I'm going to take it down. Don't worry about this. This will be covered. So this not good middle part. And we'll take a moment to get caught up on questions. Remind everyone we would love it if you share. Please. a little bit can I get some Windex for me Shoney oh sure I do have a little oopsie doodly that I'm going to fix <clears throat> with Swispers and foaming Windex what happened to the big old dryer you used to use probably that white one that big white one. Oh, oh that was a long time we have it. it's in the we drawer we still have it yeah. I just it's really powerful yeah we don't need that and it ooh, it's a really good I forgot about that oh, oh my gosh that is a bank recycler cleaner yeah. and when we got the new bank when I worked at the uh, Washington Trust Bank they got rid of all of the old ones because we were getting new ones and they were just gonna you can't donate them so they were gonna throw them away and I was like yeah. I'll take it Carol I love roller coasters you do love them I do <laughs> so do you I do that stuff doesn't scare me. It's have you guys, have you, I'm sorry, I was gonna say have you seen um, talking about haunted houses watching uh, Ellen's Producer Andy yeah. going through them. I made oh, you watch that last yeah. night because I was not. That's one of the few things in life that will make me in a very dark mood laugh. And yesterday after leaving Toby at an emergency vet, second time in less than a month, I told Sean I needed to laugh. And so I watched Andy going through. And there's one particular one where he literally pees his pants. Oh my God, I peed myself. And you can see it on camera. And he makes his poor little assistant, Jacqueline, go in front of him. But I don't blame the guy, dude. He literally tells Ellen I don't like it. And so he even says for her sick and, sick and twisted amusement, he's making me go through it. He made Sarah Paulson go through it. They're one of my favorite things to watch. Don't get me wrong. It's funny. Okay, 
Now we can put it off to the side. Yes. Ta-da! All right. So yeah, it's back. It looks like it might still be just a hair wet. Yeah, that last coat I just put on was pretty thick. Robin Reiner, you're asking, what are you using as for what? Okay, so the only thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to put a second coat in here, but I do really want my frame to be pretty bright right. So I am going to add just a third coat on this to match the Sylvie frame. But inside, I'm going to leave it kind of with that distressed vintagey look. I don't even know if we have haunted houses. In Washington, the laws have gotten so strict on haunted houses. You can't touch, you can't, um, I forget all the laws, but they're like strict laws that you can't do certain things anymore in haunted houses that you could a long time ago. I wonder if most haunted houses make you sign a waiver or anything. Linda Kozar asks, I wrote before, but I don't think you got it. I'm new at this. Do you sell supplies from your shop? So I sell stuff, um, all my Chalk Couture stuff goes directly through my Chalk Couture site. So that's chalkcouture.com slash Ken's Creations. Any other supplies that are not Chalk Couture, um, you can find on my other YouTube channel, which is just youtube.com slash mm -hmm. Ken's Creations. Um, I might not sell them in a shop, but I might send you to a site that if you use that site, we get compensated. It's called an affiliate link. And we get usually anywhere between three and 10%. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't, at this point, don't sell any physical goods. So Ralston says when we go to Universal's, make sure you ride the Hagrid's Motobart. That's motorbike brand new. Mystery. Yeah, no, it's brand new. I heard it's awesome. When we go to the Hollywood, they have a very uh, small version of Hog, Hog, Hogsmeade or Hogwarts and Hogsmeade. It's Hogsmeade, right? Mm -hmm. What? Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade, I thought. Hogsmeade, or hogs. It's, it's yeah. like plural, so, hogsmeade. But the Florida park is a lot bigger on their Harry Potter, so we're really excited. They have actually uh, the train where the Universal Studios in Hollywood is so small, they just can't provide that, which is sad. But their butterbeer, oh, the frozen butterbeer. That's all I got. That's all you have to get me. All right, last try. It's got to be the frozen version now, especially. What? The slushy version. Sorry, Tobes. Can you pick up that tree that just fell by? Oh, yeah, sure. oh, yeah, I guess I did. Oh, Tober Tobes. Ooh. All right, so I am going to put up this just for the time being until it's 100% dry because if it gets on this mat, it will come up and not be as devastating mm -hmm. to me. Um, it's just our self healing chocolate cutting mat. You okay? Yeah, I'm looking for our sealer. Oh, for everyone who watched our fast forward video of Santa, I should have cut out the part where I show the sealer. We did not use we no. wood sealer on that. No. Um, I just forgot to cut it out because I wanted people to see that video because it, we had a lot of people love that, but they didn't want to sit through a two hour live. So something like this is what we would use. A couple coats, three if you're going to have it outside. Uh, to make it permanent. I'm so sorry, I'm going to hit this again just because I... Can 
You might need to move this onto to the other side so it doesn't keep getting tangled up on you. Probably, you mean like over there? No, like the holder could go here maybe instead. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Probably, I could probably we have that. a holder for our hair dryer until we get a heat or a drying tool. <clears> wink, <throat> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know who I'm talking to. Any talk to our people watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, something's still wet over there. So I'm going to grab this. This is out of the new catalog. This is the O Christmas Tree Farm. Hello, sister. Hi, sister from another Hi, mister. mister. She's asking what you're making. I'm making a double board. Double board, double sided. Yeah, double board uh, using the Sylvie 18 by 24 and then this one here, the um, uh, reclaimed diagonal. And then we're going to do that transfer in the center of this. And we've already done the 18 by 24 with that uh, background. Using the word we very literally. Well, him. Uh, I did see before I came on, Jessica, you were doing, making Brando a project, so I hope he did good. I still oh, really? love his uh, sugar sweat skull or sweat skull or whatever what he called it, but that was funny. <laughs> Do you know a year ago now, ago, we were on a ship? A year ago? Yeah, we were getting on the ship. Oh, that's right, we were, weren't we? Yeah, for our first inaugural chalk couture incentive trip. Yes. And now we get to go on another one, but it won't be till. Man, this is sticky. Yeah, it is. Good. Which is good. That's good. All right. So I'm going to grab some colors to match this. So in the catalog, I always tell people the catalog is where you can find a lot of your inspiration. Mm -hmm. Obviously in mine, um, the tree here, anywhere there's white, I am going to do black. Then we have the green here. So I'm going to use the Christmas tree, uh, Christmas tree, candy apple red. Um, well, baby, let me see what matches better. Well, hello, Sarah Newbold. Hi, Sarah. How are you? All right. So <laughs> we're going to use Candy Apple Red, which is one of my favorites. We're going to use the... So we're going to match it to these. Mm -hmm. Okay, Joanne's had a killer deal. All of their... What was this called? A what? Sprig. A sprig was buy one, get two free. Wow. That's what? Good. good one. So um, the candy apple matches that. And then I'm gonna go with, I think, a mixture between the pesto and the sage to get this really nice green color. And then remember, anywhere that I saw white, um, we're gonna use black. This is why I always recommend, even if you're not gonna buy anything out of the catalog, request a catalog for people because here's the deal. Even online when you view it, our catalog is essentially an inspiration book. Mm -hmm. Every single chalk transfer has a uh, project to go with it. So if you are lost on inspiration, this is your, that's your main yeah. squeeze. <clears throat> yes, that, that cruise was our, my proposal cruise, was it not? Oh, it was, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, There we go. That was such a fun cruise. It was a fun cruise. Can't wait for the next one. That's what fills my tank is experiences like that. Yes. Okay, so... Now we could be doing this either, there's two different ways obviously we could do this. Now keep in mind the reclaimed diagonal front is not an even surface. So what I mean by that, before I put this down, let me show you, is for example here, this part of the surface is a little raised over there. So when you're doing your paste on here and if you feel that your paste might hit that part, so purposely go into this thinking, okay, I think I want this to be kind of a distressed look. Because I think sometimes when we go in, we want perfection, but some of our stuff looks really good kind mm -hmm. of as a distressy feel. Yes. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Hopefully it looks like it's in the center. Sean, what do you think? Sean's so official. I would say if if you wanted, I'd say a hair to the right and not by much. Do you know what a hair, a hair well, to okay, people? Well, okay, about a quarter inch or so to the right. I love when people say you. a hair. What's a hair? <laughs> I don't know. You think it does? Or do you think it's well, worth the Well, see, hustle? when I do the, it's like a finger and a half, and it's more than, it's almost two fingers. It's almost, I'm talking, it's almost. <laughs> I love your measurements. I know. So, you know, on this side, I got a finger. On this side, I think I have a finger and a half, and it's a little bit of a hair. You, Sean, crack me up. So that's 0.75. I think it's so minor that okay, I'm not going to Yeah, worry don't worry about, about it. it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, this is a cool, yeah, this is a very cool uh, transfer. I'm just going to do a, a semi-pull because I'm still afraid that this surface is still a little wet. 
Can you hold that down while I pull it up? Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Oh, okay. I passed the test. Passed All the right. Test. I think it just there was, there was a little wet spot right here, which I'm gonna. So. Yeah, but, yeah, you have a wet daub right there. Yeah. So that makes me feel much better because I just painted this, and usually I would recommend waiting at least mm, a good 24 <laughs> hours. So we're really putting this guy to the test. Where's that wet spot that you said I it's had? It's like right there on the edge. I'm on the edge of glory. Vicky says she she measures the same way as I do. The like, finger test? My finger test, yeah. You guys are killing me, man. Yes, Jessica said they sold enough uh, stuff for 43 lights. <gasps> oh, That's awesome. Jessica, you need to go on that trip next year. It is life changing. Yes, it is. I loved it. It is just... It's a hard trip, meaning emotionally, but it's so fulfilling. Hi, Betsy. So um, I'm fuzzing it again because I did wipe off that little spot that had that little bit of paint. That made me question my whole existence. Now we can put it back in there. And since this time I can be a little bit more picky, Sean, where do you think center is? Where is center? Oh, I don't know. So it's how, th yeah, there we go. Corner to corner. We are 18, 18 so nine. 9 is right there. Thank you, Sean. Mm -hmm. Look at you. You're more than just a pretty face. Mm. There you go. Yeah, it's going to be hot in July. I, I, was, I was there in August, so yes, I know exactly how hot that is. Boot camp was not fun in August. <laughs> okay, so uh, we are going to make sure my black is ready to go. It looks a little on the thick side. I'm going to move this out of... No. <laughs> you should not touch other people's projects. They teach this to you in kindergarten. They say, <laughs> keep your hands to yourself. Do not press other people's projects. Did we not learn our lesson the first time that when you start focusing on my project... You didn't even know comments weren't working. I'm just saying. It's working. Just saying. All right. So the key is um, you want this. A lot of people will say cake uh, or uh, cake batter. Cake batter. Or we say cake batter, but most people say yogurt. Yogurt, sour uh, cream, and yeah. Another good uh, one is ganache. But I always say like kind of that cake batter. You still want it. Where's my? What are you looking for? Your all the stuff that you take from me. Mm -hmm. So uh, using our fine mist sprayer, we're gonna add some distilled water. Keep in mind when you do a full pump, a ton of water comes out on this. So let me see if I can demonstrate for you. You probably can't see this, but. So that's a full pump. See how much it goes? So the reason I always bring this up is if you put too much water, really, your only option at that point is you can dry it out by leaving the lid Just off for 20 minutes or so. Um, but it adds a lot of water. The other thing you want to do is before you stir your, especially on black, you want to make sure your paste is away from your project. I've had it before where I put water in, I stir it, and my paste splashes my project. Oh, it's very, very sad. Very, very sad, Sean. It's very, very sad. Very sad. All right, so I am going to do this in two passes um, because the majority of this is going to be black with the exception of the truck is going to be in red and the tree is going to be in green, but the rest of it is black. So we're going to start with the black. And I'm just going to be very, very careful not to go where I don't. If my other option would be to use our placement tape to mask off areas where I don't want to hit. Mm -hmm. But we're just going to... Uh-oh. There she goes. There she goes. There she goes, just a walking down the street. Can't sing anymore. We'll get a copyright. Copyright. <laughs> I can't wait to do, I think we're going to do it towards our Chocathon. We're going to watch our first Chocotour live ever. And You're you gonna, guys. You what? We're going to watch our first Chocotour live that we ever did two years ago. Oh, wow. And we're going to watch it and we're going to provide commentary. Oh, you're going to get another one for ironing. Good idea. Spoiler alert, it didn't end well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how far we've come, Sean. Yes. Do you remember your first one, uh, Jessica? Your I first one? I saw Mandy's first one, but I don't know if I've ever seen Jessica's first project. 
I would love to though. That's a tire. Oh, you know what? I am going to grab my, mm, oh, it's too late to do masking, but I'm gonna just try to get it to where it doesn't hit the, I might have to redo that. I don't know, we'll see. I want the wheels to be that. Hola, Ms. Velasquez. Hi, Allie. I was just talking about how you'd promised me I wouldn't be scared and that wasn't the case. <laughs> so everyone is very upset with you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just kidding. Or am I? Or are you? Well, that's right. 1972 was its first year. That's right. Or what Ep was? Epcot. Well, that's when Epcot opened. Or is that when... No, I wasn't born yet. no, Epcot opened in the 80s. That's when World's Fair opened, or the Disney World opened in 72. She says, oh man, was bad. I wrecked the transfer live, like wrecked it, pulled it too hard off the backer sheet. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, we, oh my. we tried doing the vintage, um, oh no, it was the Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We let it dry, it pulled up, and leave it to my upline Mandy at the time to say, oh, it looks so pretty. It's got a vintagey, not finished feel to it. And I was like, so in other words, you hate it. Ooh, look at that. Yay. Okay, we'll give this a dry. So a little noise here, sorry. Uh, sorry, tubes. Be good. A sprayer for a bearded dragon. Perfect. Oh my goodness, I love it. Mm hmm Yay. So I'm gonna dry my transfer real quick. Um, just because we're using it right away again. Excuse the dog in the background. She's whining. I know, I gotta let her out soon. You can let him out, that's fine. It's gonna take me a scooch to I think dry. she wants to go P-O-T-T-Y. What? I think she wants to go potty. Of course she does. All right. Why are you being so like this, I, little girl? Um, if it's sopping wet out of your sink, All right, let's go. and you have a piece of wood or even something I will sometimes squeegee the water out especially if I'm going on something like I painted because once again after your first use sometimes our transfers become even more sticky and that adhesive really activates so we want to get that water out of there I'm going to then just dry my surface here and put quick, it now quick, sticky quick, quick, side quick. up just using our fuzzing cloths and I mostly use the, the terry cloth side, even when I'm drying. So here we go. Yeah, it's still raining. Is it? So they can't stay out long, obviously. No, not long at all. I'm gonna grab a third fuzzing cloth and just make sure we get all that moisture out of there. So the thing you wanna make sure you're on when you're doing something like this, where you lift it up and you're doing parts of the transfer, you really want it dry because any moisture can reactivate your paste and that could be a potential pull-up situation. A lot of people will say, why is my paste pulling up? Usually if you're relayering or putting something on, you gotta remember, just by pasting over something, you're already rehydrating the paste underneath of it, and you risk that pulling up on you. So we just wanna make sure all of the moisture is out of this. Oh, Tobes is coming. Uh oh. Here comes the old man. He's moving he's on the move
And second step before we're gonna relayer it is we wanna make sure this is really dry because even if it's slightly got moisture, it will potentially, not always, but potentially pull up. And now all we have to do is line this bad boy back up. I can't see my view, Sean, so let me know if I go out of frame. You're fine. You don't have to try. You should be fine. Okie dokie. He doesn't like the dogs to be out because it gets... It gets everything wet and muddy. Yeah, and it's like on. wet and muddy today. Okay, so, look out. And our beautiful angel, Riles, likes to literally go out in the rain and then jump up on everything. <clears throat> now Tobes is going to do his rolling his back. Tobes right. can do whatever Tobes wants. Yep. After what he's been through, he gets a free. Kara, Toby's doing great. Could you have done the red at the same time? You could have, absolutely. The only reason I decided not to is um, this way it gives me a little bit more freedom to take my time. The biggest thing on rushing Chocotour or mistakes, when I make mistakes, it's because I'm rushing through a project or, you know, I'm afraid it's drying and I pull it up. So I like giving myself a little bit more time. It's a little more time consuming um, for sure, but I think it can be a better result. Betsy D said she used to work on Main Street and then I did displays throughout the park and my own golf cart to drive under the park. Oh. How cool. Main You got some insight then. You do have some insight. Kathy Tom says my mill. Not sure what that meant. Uh, aunt, uncle, and cousin worked there. My brother and I moved to Orlando first. He worked at several of the restaurants for years. So all I'm doing is kind of creating a mask to try and not get red on the tire. If I was to get red on the tire, the nice thing is, is we have chalk markers. Um, our chalkable markers would potentially um, fix that for us, but I'm going to take the extra time just to mask this off. I would definitely use our placement tape for this versus like a washi tape, just because a washi tape, um, we don't know the consistency and it could damage your screen. Mm -hmm. So blue painter's tape is great, I love it, but I used to use it to mask off and it literally one time um, tore my transfer. Kathy Tom says, my mother-in-law has been working there since the late 70s, the whole time at the Polynesian. Wow. That's crazy. No worries, Karen. Actually, I think I want the grill black now that I look at it. So I'm gonna start oh, with my, what? Oh, M-I-L, mother-in-law, that's what that oh, meant. Oh, sorry. So I think I am going to do, follow this and add a little black elsewhere because it's going to get too much red. So I'm going to do everything in red except for... You can just keep the headlights white or try to. Hmm? You can try to keep the headlights white. I'm gonna try to. Or like no no uh my no paste at all. Yeah. Sweet. I love our tape, but I wish it was a different color. <laughs> oh that's a good point. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. <clears throat> Oh, I have a bubble. Where were you, Sean? You been telling me all about my bubbles. I all know. Oh yes, the four on the 1954 was missing just a little bit. Thank you so much, Sean. Somebody was saying. Just give me a hard time. Toby's doing well, Karen. All He's... right, I'm gonna move a little quicker here because I am afraid that this will start drying here. So I'm just gonna go in with our multi-tool 
and get these little detailed areas as much as possible. If I accidentally go in the white too much, I will use my block here I have a feeling I will be making some minor corrections on this one but you know what that's okay we almost did my light Sean almost almost good thing I didn't huh <laughs> You want to try to get your four? Uh, nope. 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 Yep. That's what our, the nice thing about having our chalk pens are, is I can grab that. I'm going to try to fix some of this up here, though. All right, Sean, I'll give you your four. Is your comments not working again? I was just double checking because it, it seemed to lag there for a moment. You're always hoping you're always still there. Pick up a little block in here to give the tree some nice different colors in there. All right. I'm going to remove the red where it is a little bit on this. And it's probably going to dry on here, so here's going nothing, Sean. I can have you. Thank you. Ta-da! Uh-oh. What's nice. wrong with it? I'm Love getting it. a glare from the Sean, guys. I'm just looking at everything. Let me see how it all came out. It turned out really nice. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Rosalind, he usually sees, I mean, like this one, he saw this, but then... Can you dry it, please, Sean? Yes, and then end up uh, getting, doing a double board. Everything you don't like about it. I think the only thing you have to do is just mm -hmm. take a, a little circle or something or something to create the, the headlight there, and that's about this it. This is why I like Sean to create every once in a while because today it gets very bossy when doing even my voiceover and videos, and then all I have to do is say, Sean, why don't you go on camera? No, no, thank you. In the beginning, everything I did, he used to say, Oh, it looks great, and now if he doesn't it say, Oh, it looks great, he does this. <laughs> which not. means, oh, yes you do, which means there's something on there I don't like. I, I miss support of Sean, don't you little miss? Mm -hmm. Hi, me. what are you doing up here? Excuse me. Excuse Miles. me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can All you, right. Can you get down Excuse now? Excuse me. Thank you. Trials, you got moved. All right, so now this is a perfect time for me to show you our chalkable markers. So a lot of times when you're doing something on a white, especially with black, we have these chalkable markers. These are great to fix mistakes. Um, like Sean was saying, to add that little bit of detail on there, uh, add a little bit of the thing over there. So I'm going to fix these. They come in a two-pack, so you get both the black and the white. 
and we'll grab a little bit of a paintbrush just to fix some of the red spots. But other than that, I think it looks really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't even try to get my good graces, mister. Mister. All right, so I'm gonna start with the red first. My red is pretty thin. Um, however, if you're gonna use a paint... Can I bring this down? Because I'm out of here, I'm out of... There can you I go. please bring this down? Of course you can, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. We're working much. on that, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Please. When I know my nephews noticed it, then I knew it was an issue. He goes, does he ever say please or thank you? And is he always demanding? I said, this is the real side of Sean McCoy, the <laughs> E! True Hollywood story. Sometimes you almost want to film people to... Why are you that way? Like Demanding what? and... Is this why you've been let go from two jobs? No. I've never been demanding. Not at work. What do you consider this place? Just I, the place where Ken works his tail off and I surf Facebook videos? No. That's not what I meant. They're, uh, the, the tips of the markers are considered, what, a, a medium tip? Can you grab one and show them? Here. Um, here's the package. I don't believe it says... Oh, yeah, right there. It's right there. Considered... Um, it's where your thumb was. Three millimeter tip. And they're really, mm -hmm. really nice. They don't have what I always dread in chalk markers where it drips on you. So some chalk markers, when you push down on them, they'll start to drip. And ours don't do that, which I appreciate. I think a one millimeter would be kind of cool, but I think that might be kind of hard with chalk, maybe. I don't know. A dryer tool would be awesome, too. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they'll ever come out with, uh, one of my customers asked, do you think they'll come out with chalk markers for all your colors? And I don't think they would. Um, I'm not sure I'd see a need for that. The black and white I use mostly to hand write stuff in. Um, but you never know, right? Dream big. That's true. So you could have left this uh, just the way it was, not fixed any of it, because it does have a very distressed look yeah but uh there we go so we have that fixed i'm gonna grab my hair dryer i get a lot of people that ask me how do you get the different colors in the green besides the hot mess? Now, I'm gonna tell you how I do this, but very use it sparingly. At the very end before you lift it up, if you go grab some of your black from up here and put just a little bit in there, it will be your saving grace. What do you need, Johnny? Somebody wanna know how big this bristle was. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. All right, so I am gonna go back now and fix some stuff in black first, and then we'll use the white, so. The nice thing about this is it truly, you can just go right over. You can define the wheel wheels, which is really nice. It's a 65 year old truck. It's supposed to be distressed. <laughs> Agreed. But you know, when in Rome, right? No? Maybe so? Yes, of course. What did I just say? In When in Rome. What was I talking about? I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, you were, you were talking about something about the, the rooms and stuff. Uh, if I had a book for all my stories about Sean. Jen, are you asking what kind of colors the Pens come in, it's only black and white. It would be kind of cool to have the colors, but some colors don't stay around long enough. And it could be that maybe they'll eventually come out with the ones that are more popular, like candy apple red and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so 
So then I just write on here because it wipes right up. There's no need for it to clean off the tip. I just do it right over on here. So um, we can fix all of these little tiny and then we're gonna do white last. Now white, I will tell you, is a little bit more tricky just because it will pick up the color underneath. So, okay, picky Sean, where else are you looking at? I would find a way to highlight the headlights both. I, I'm going to, but other than that, yeah. that's my last thing I'm gonna do. Mm, the rest looks pretty good. Very pretty nice. good. Just pretty good. Okay. Pretty damn good. It's it's hard to impress Sean nowadays. I used to be able to impress him way easier, but now it's just pretty good. Pretty damn good. No, you can't add the dirt now. My heart is broken. I'm in a very fragile mode today, Sean. I'm sorry though. All right. So let's hit this with the hair dryer and grab my white, and then I'll distress. So yes, I did hear Sean's headlamps, but. I'm waiting for just a sec because we have to get into here and I didn't want to touch those headlamps. So the trick on here is to clean off your tip regularly and it's going to take probably two passes to cover up that red because red and white are bright. <laughs> Are you laughing at Carol me? says, hang in there, Kenny. My husband's the same way as Sean. I've tolerated him without killing him for 48 years. Here's my deal about this. I adore Sean. I love Sean. But you guys only see Sean as is. You don't see all the other stuff behind the scenes. And I'm not picking on him, but truly when I say he doesn't pay attention to me, he truly does not pay attention to me. Even Ali this weekend was like, you know, he just says yes. Like, and then you ask him, like, what did you talk about? He has no idea. But at least he's willing to go live with me, so. Can't always get what you want, right? Can't always get what you want. And he's never really said no to me, so I can't complain too much. All right, Sean, before I put away my white, anywhere else do you think? No. Somebody said more of the hubcap or something of the wheel. Especially oh, the, on the, the black. Front, yeah, the front one. Yes, 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 yes. You got it. You got it, peeps. And then we're going to do a final check on my red. I'm going to swap it this around and just kind of fill in some of this. Oh, <clears throat> what did I do before my black and white chalk markers? So the key to this too is, you know, some chalk markers on the market, when you push on the tip, it will come down in globs and ours doesn't do that. I would suggest if you're gonna fix mistakes like I'm doing, you don't want to do circle motions. You just kind of want to dab and, cause if you do circle motions or anything like that, you're going, you have the potential to. Going too far. Yeah. Okay. So now let's go back down here. You said the hubcap, that hub one. Hubcaps, yep. Okay. almost like there needs to be a center moon. A what? Um, what they call a moon cap. Oh, you're talking about the truck. Yeah. I thought you meant like a moon moon. No. All right. I'm waiting until the last on this one to make sure I can do this pretty good. Kenny, my spouse, my spouse has not listened to me for 35 years. Get used to it. It only gets worse with, with age. Well, Sean's old, so he should already have this down, right? Mm-hmm. All right, my other headlamp, I need to look at this cheat sheet. What do you think? Yeah. All right, I need to put a little bit of white in there. I made it too thick, but we can fix that. Oh, there is something in the middle. 
-hmm. That would normally be white. Okay, I see what you're saying now, Shawnee. Sorry, I didn't understand what you're saying. Sure. But now I do. So it's more of kind of, you're right, kind of the crescent-y. You should put your avatar inside the truck. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. Possible black streaks on the uh, windshield and window. What, Sean? Streaks on the window? There is, there's little head, um, windshield wipers. wipers. Thank you. <laughs> so they go, let's see, they go corner to corner. So they basically start right there and right there. Perfect, almost. All right. Do you like that, or do you want, think I should redo them? Mm. Okay. All right. All right. Just fix that last little part in white, and then we will be good. So what I'm doing is just getting the red off this. Sean, before I put away my muckles? Nope. Looks nice. Thank you, Sean. You're welcome. I love that support. Oh, oh he's it's... looking at something else, guys. What it's... else needs to be good. fixed? Right when I think I'm done, he pulls me back in. What, what's wrong, Mr. McCoy? What about the, um, on the side window? Oh. Oh my goodness. He wants this perfect, you guys. I was just saying. Try to be nice and say, Sean, what else do you have for me? And he sits there and tells you everything that's wrong. Just kidding. So he wants this filled in here. And there's actually a border around it. Good call, actually. And there is a little piece of it. It's like a, it's like a, what is that, an isosceles triangle? That goes down like that. Mm -hmm. And it actually looks like the middle of this truck is also filled out, so I'll do that really quick. For you, Sean, anything. What else would you like, Your Highness? What? Now you're not going to speak to me? No, I was trying to read a question, so I was asking. What's that? What else would you like done in black? Somebody said, I know you did the wipers, but it's like there's a second line. If you look at the look at the, look at your transfer on how the, how there's that it's almost like a second line, almost. Yeah, it's like the wiper part. Mm -hmm. and it's only like a, a third the way down. Yep, there you go. Sweet. Thank you. I you, feel like I've got, miss. do I get the stamp of approval from Sean? Awesome as usual. What? Awesome as usual. Oh, don't even. Now he's trying to purposely be nice. So I am going to grab my white Chalkology paste just because I'm not happy with how <clears throat> thick the border on the light is. Someone has me paranoid about everything now. Why? I'm just giving you a hard time, Sean. I love your support. There we go. That looks way better. All right, before I put away anything, what else do you think, Shani? Me or what they're saying? You tell me what they're saying. What else would they like? Glitter on the tree. 
Oh, no. Because <laughs> then I'd have to relayer it. Anything they else said, besides they, that? They said just use the white pen. Oh, dots and then... good idea. Whoever said that, good idea. That would have been. I don't know if I'm gonna uh, add. What do you think? I don't know if it's. Michelle Olsen said that. I think it's gonna take away from it, to be honest. It'll be. It'll take away the. The look. Yeah, kind of that grungy-ish look. Mm -hmm. All right. So besides that, I will side with Sean on this and no glitter. The, uh, this here should not be there. A little white dot. So I will fix that. And yes, I lick my paintbrushes, so... Because it makes them a little bit more of a finer tip. What? Now why are you laughing at me? Glitter on the truck. <laughs> I think people are just now saying that because they know you hate glitter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere else, though, Shani? No, I think it did quite well there. I, I wouldn't have even thought of that. What? A little white spot. Okay. Oh, what's that for? It was on the lid. Well, it would have been okay. I wouldn't have been. Mm, it's fine. Oh, I miss any. All right. We are ready. Will you get my hot glue up? Hot glue gun? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. No glitter. No glitter. No glitter. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, no thank you. you. All right, so he's going to grab my hot glue gun. I'm going to turn that on. But, and it doesn't take too long. Um, while it's doing that, I'm just going to fix my S up here. But this turned out really good. It did. I'm loving the look. And wait till you guys see it. I think i to paint this just a... a... Uh, no one will see it. All right. No one will see that, Johnny. No one is up on, up on a wall. All right, so I'm gonna bring this down, let it dry, and we are gonna grab this guy. So, essentially, this is this. We're gonna be putting this right about here, and then we're gonna add some elements to it. Can mm -hmm. you zoom out so they can see it? Sure can. Thanks, Sean. So we have the tree in the background. Um, so while it's heating up, we don't have a ton of time to uh, mess around with this. So I'm going to measure it first and figure out where my center point is. I look glitter, but not on this one. So 25. So 12 and a half. 12 and a half is right. Can you hold your finger where 12 and a half is? So I just use, um, oh, I guess I can use my chalk marker. Duh. It might stain it. I don't think it will. Yeah. Will you put it? There we go. So 12 and a half is right about there. And then we're going to go on the other side. 12 and a half is right about there. Perfect. Did you want to put it on? Oh, wait. There's it's first. right there. Yeah, I saw it. And then right there. Yep. Does that make sense? On the bottom part of the stick. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so while this is heating up, you guys, we are going to finish this. Like I said, I got these at Joann's. They were buy one, get two free. So I'm going to get this ready. We're going to take off the price tags. Mm -hmm. Jill, you should look into uh, becoming a club member if you don't want to, if you want to look at the little cheaper way of doing it. I would say cheaper. Just well, not cheaper. A, a a more affordable way of, uh, of experiencing. Being experiencing. It first, yeah. Yes, it's a great way. It's only nineteen ninety nine a month, including free shipping. For three months, is the uh, is what you have to do. Where's All me? right. So this is still kind of heating up. So I'm just gonna move this right on the ground for now. And. These are literally going to go inside, and I grab some coral tape. So this way we're not relying 100% on... Oh my god. What? Patricia says, my kids took my glitter and threw it around my house one time. Looked like Tinkerbell got killed in my house. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Sean... Let me hold that while you wrap. Sean despises... I got it. 
He despises glitter. It's pretty. He hates it. Don't let him lie to you. Ladies, he hates it. Perfect. I think glitter can add a lot in the right form. Mm -hmm. This right. sounds like Santa Claus is right outside my door. Doesn't it? It does. Santa Claus is coming to town. Whoa, whoa. What kind of tape is that? It's floral tape. Hmm. But hmm. like sticky instead of the other stuff that just clings to itself because that never works for me. So I like the sticky kind better. I was going to say, it looks like floral tape, but it's actually, it's actually probably a very thin cut of duct tape. It's exactly like that, Sean. You're so observant. My puppy's looking for the bells. Oh, I bet. So this one will end up actually getting glued on, um, but I will wrap it down at the base here. So we're going to cut this right here. Kara. These are the Fisker tools. And that might be, is it going to go through that one? Yep. Yeah. Nice. So this way we can put this down here. I'm going to wrap the floral tape around here and then I can use actually right about there. Kara says my husband's an eye doctor. He says glitter is an eye injury waiting to happen. Oh, I bet. I didn't even think about that. What color do you use to decorate for Christmas? Um, it's different upstairs versus our downstairs. Mm -hmm. So Up, I will... Upstairs is burgundy and gold. Are you sure this is working? Maybe it's just... Yep, there it is. Oh, thanks, Sean. So we're going to take some of the leaf and hide the tape as much as possible we can. And then that's one of them done. My birds are having a sing-along with your bells. Oh, I bet. What kind and brand of markers do you use? Like Mar regular markers or... Marker markers? Or chalk markers. Or chalk, yeah. Markers, chalk markers versus... Watercolor markers. If you're wondering about markers, I have a review on my other channel of the markers. I'm currently using alcohol and brush markers. Mm -hmm. I work at Hobby Lobby and it's always all over us and our faces all during the holidays. I bet. He hates glitter with a passion, you guys. He always says, I like the look, but he just doesn't like the mess and the cleanup and all of that jazz. Yeah. You have such a creative mind, Ken. Aww. Jackie Bates. I work at Hobby Lobby and it's always all over me. What kind Today, of, what kind of was, chalk markers? The reason we were late is I never, and you can ask Sean, ever, ever, ever in our local craft stores get recognized. No one ever says, oh, you're the cricket guy or I've seen your cricket videos or your chalk couture. And sure enough, today I'm in a hurry and this lady comes up to me and she's like, don't think I am a freak, but are you the guy that reviews the Cricut machines? And I was like, well, among other things. And she was like, I'm here with my husband to sign between the maker and the explorer. And I was like, Sean's like, you told her the maker, right? And I was like, don't worry. I got it. Maker. <laughs> get the maker. Don't even think twice. Sean, you crack me up. Just get it. You'll love it. Carol does turquoise and silver. So upstairs, yeah, sorry, I interrupted you there. We do, yep, maroon and gold upstairs. And then downstairs is classic red and a mixture of other colors. Yeah. I don't know necessarily it has a theme downstairs, does yeah. it? Yeah. All right, that's... Taught first grade for, the, for 16 years, no to the glitter. <laughs> no. Good for you. <laughs> All right, guys. Because you know what that would have been like. Ugh. So we do have a little bit of time before this will meld, but we do also want to measure this. 
So it is 12. So I'm going to grab some of my placement tape again. So essentially we want the six inch, the top of the six inch to line up with this. So it's going to need to come down here in mm -hmm. a sec. And then this one top of the six inch will line up with this. So when I actually glue this, you'll know that it's going to be, cause it's the, this is your the yeah. bottom of the tape, right? Yep. All right. So that's metal. According to what I so am, I because thought... this is the six is there that, Oh no, no you did six on the bottom. Good so you basically, hat, Sean. You want to double check that for me, myself? I'll even. Well, you could, okay. No, it's on the outside, I think. Just, if you just, it should be the right amount of space in between that. What is that at six? And this is at, yeah. Six. All right, you ready? Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we are gonna turn this bad boy over and I'm gonna put this glue specifically comes out pretty hot. It's pretty stinking hot. Watch your fingers. And we are gonna measure it to make sure. So that one goes right about there. That one's about there. Does that look mm -hmm. about right? Yep. Yep, that's it. Okay. We're going to let it chillax here for a second. Remove our tape. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you could leave it 100% like this, or you could add a little flare, which is what we're doing. So I'm going to add this right here on each side. So while it is drying, I'm going to start forming this to fit. You don't have to do this option. I just wanted to add a little more to it. I'm really into adding, Sean says it's called swig or swag? Sprig. Sprig. S-P-R-I-G, sprig. These have good bells on them. Yes. These are powerful bells. They're big, that's why. Whoa. Hey now. Glitter is fine, balloons need to be banned, deadly to children, animals, and wildlife. Agreed. Agreed. But I also don't like driving in a car with balloons. They scare mm. the bejesus out of you. How would you think that saying got started? Have you ever hung a double double board by a magnet on a magnet chalkboard? No. You would have to have one hell of a powerful, heck. strong heck of a We are a family channel, Sean. Okay. So you can leave it like it is, voila, or you can add. Sean, cast your vote. Cast your votes. No, what do you think? I'm asking you, what do you think? Oh, me? You like that? I think that takes away, don't you? From the trees up above? I have other options too. You wanna see my other options? There you go. Brig, also known as Holiday Picks. Really? So I have this, and then we would do the third red one. This was my option too, if those were two. Yeah, I like this, I like these. But do you like them on the side, or where do you like them? Or do, is it too much? Do we not even add it? Try the sprigs on top. I'm thinking on top of there, or on the very top top. Oh, that's kind of cute. So that's option one. Option. So we have, let's see. I like the bells on the sides, on the sides. I like the top and bottom sides.
First option, side, 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 side. Bells are better. Bells on side, side, the bells. Bells on the bottom. I think there's more on sides than anything. So on the sides. There you go. For the sides? Yep. On the sides. Now you just gotta figure out where how to tack them in there. Well, and yeah. Okay. So the biggest thing is is I want to make sure I have a flat kind of to work with here. So give me a second while I move around some L shapes on the sides. And like mm, I don't know. Something like this. Like that. I think she means like that. Ah. That's what I was saying. Just one on the left. Mm. You guys are overstimulating me mm -hmm. with ideas. What do you think? Look at the camera and tell me what you think. So if this is up on a wall, here that's what we'll do. Let's pretend this is up on a wall. No, no, just you. That's okay. That wasn't my point, but that's oh. okay. It looks nice. I think it looks great. Okay. You like it that way yeah. or devil's advocate. Do you like it by itself? No, you gotta have it. I like okay. the red. The red so then the though. last thing was imagine this at the top and at and the bottom. bottom. That looks pretty too. Okay. Now you get to hold it up for me. Okay. This is what we go through guys. This isn't just this is forever when I do it all the time, okay? And stop, turn. Oh man, I really don't know what to do. You guys, I'm gonna, I don't know. I think. Hmm. What's everyone, they all look good. How about top and bottom or other small springs on the upper and lower top bottom? Mm. So then hers, what she's saying is maybe then do this. I thought this was going to be the easy part. Decisions, decisions. Hi, baby girl. Decision, Sean. What is your, what is your little brain saying to me right well, now? Well, everybody's saying top and bottom, top and bottom, top and bottom, top and bottom. Now everyone's saying top and bottom? Yeah, the, the bells and, and stuff. All right. All right, so give me a second here. I'm going to form it now since it's going in a little something different. We just mostly want to make sure you have a flat surface to glue it to. So sorry for all of the loud bells right now. Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, you're having a really nice flat spot right here. What do you mean? Right cool. here. All right, so. Is that about center? Okay. Mm -hmm. Holding? Oh yeah, it'll hold. It's just, I have to make sure it gets enough on there because we're gonna move around some of these branches here in a sec. So let's let it chillax for a second. All right, that's a better way of holding it. You got uh, this? How long here? Yep, you got it, mister. Be careful of your fingers, please. And then just make sure it's nice and centered. So, right.
Good job, Shani. Can I have that? Mm -hmm. Quick phrase. It's a lot of angels getting their wings. Oh, yeah. Every time my bell rings. You know, I've never... Oh, we've already had this discussion. Yes, we've had that discussion. We've never seen that movie. Never. Seen bits and pieces of it, but never the whole time from start to finish. All right. Let's take a look. Oh, we have a little bit of tape showing up here. So we're going to move. The last thing I always do on stuff like uh, sprays and stuff is try to hide our tape as much as possible. So I'm going to take the greenery from up here and a little bit of greenery from down here and see if we can hide that a little better. Karen, you'll have to ask, what is Dutton? Dutton? She was saying it would look good bent and Dutton top and bottom sides. Yeah, what's Dutton? Is that like Dutton Abbey? <laughs> D-U, and it's D-U-T, uh, D-U-T-O-N, Dutton. Yeah, that's something I'm going to have to look into. I've never so heard of that. Wait, or is it Outen? Like Downton Abbey? I oh. love that. Can't tell. Yeah, that's a pretty cool looking background transfer, isn't it? I yep. really love it, especially with that hot mess look. Okay, I'm just messing with the placement a little bit of the bells so they're nice and even. And... Can we go to the top? Yep, I think we made the right choice. Yeah, that looks good. Bring it down. No, go back and then go no, right there, right there. And you could, I'm not saying I am, don't get your bells in a tinsel. So you could, if you wanted to add, like we were talking. Maybe that's what this stuff is, Denton. Maybe that's Denton. Yes, berries in the greens. Put the berries with the sprigs, Ken. Oh. So put the berries in with these here. You don't think that's too Oops, much? Here we go like this, sorry. Or do you like this in over here, kind of? No? No, no. Okay. But I could see putting some of that inside of this stuff. Yes, I could see that. It's going to be hard to work it in now. The lady says, top bottom brings your sight throughout the entire project. Very well done. Stunning. Oh, thank you. Beautimus. Gorgeous. That's gorgeous. That is so awesome. Great job, guys. Beautiful. Blah, 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 blah. All right. I have an answer for them that, oh, this might be too much, but I do. I don't have any berries, but I have, oh, no, I do. These are berries. Bows. No berries. <laughs> So I have board these that so are cool. some little berries. What do you think? The white throws it. Why well, you cut the white off? Oh. No, I don't know. Maybe? So if we cut the white off... They're too bright. Those are too bright of red. Ugh, I think that these are, these are more dull. You're a critic, Sean. Whenever you, you say it doesn't go, you're supposed to give me ideas. All right, how about these? This will give everyone their glitter. Oh dear God. <laughs> what is with you and glitter? Look it's at fine. it. No, with that, it's just too bright. It just doesn't go with it. Are you sure? Oh yeah, you're sure. <laughs> I like it. Whatever. He's just a critic, guys. He doesn't give me okay. any solutions. <laughs> Miss, he doesn't give us any solutions. Here we go. What about these? See? All right, mister. Do it on all of them. Take charge. Take charge, Shawnee. Just don't break it. You break it, you buy it. Right, little miss? Tell him. Good thing I bought these. They were buy to get one free, little miss. Doesn't that make your heart Sorry, says too much. Someone says too much? Too much. Too much. Well, we haven't glued them, so we yeah. have options. Just be very careful not to rip the glue up because it'll yeah. be hard to... It probably would be too much. Yeah, it's too much. Too much. Too much. 
I think it's the only thing that might do good is individual berries, but I don't think they're too bright. Even as is, it's are, amazing. I think it is Sean amazing. is wrong. I like it as is too. <laughs> Sometimes less is more. Yeah, you got about that right. What's that? These are the red berries you think are too bright, but I think are perfect. So I just want to try them out. I'm not saying I'm going to keep it. I just want to see what it looks like. Let's do this. Oh, sorry. Just okay. put berries on top. What do we think about the berries? Don't take away from too much from your center. I have enough to do because I would I would need I'm sorry for those of you who have an issue but I would have to do one in the middle and then the two off to the side that's what it would look like so show them the full that's what the full would look like with the berries it's not over powerful but it's, it's just enough here, or here, here. I have little white bells oh. I could put in there sorry this was going was having a mind of its own or I could put little white bells in there but you said you didn't like the white in there, right? Yes, love it. I like the berries. Berries are good. Okay, berries are good. We're moving on. Give me the glue. Give is me the this glue. heavy? No, it's not heavy at all. It's probably, it's got, it's, the battery comes with is, I'd say that's probably three pounds or less, if that. If you have that, oh, I was going to say, if you have that wrapped around, it should be fine. Make small, maybe small ribbons, black and white. Ooh, you guys are full of good ideas today. All right. That'll and have to come another time to look at. <laughs> I.e. Sean wants the slide to be done. <laughs> it's it's two that's, hours. That's Sean saying, and we're out. I'm sorry, that I may, that's turn, been turned off. I didn't know you were going to glue more. It's okay. It's working. I love All right, so I'm gonna finish up here and get Sean some food so he doesn't turn into grumpy Sean. Mm, be fine. And we have to obviously let this little. She's already been out. She oh, just wants the love. Wants the love. She wants love. But let me know what you guys think in the comments now before we leave. What you think and if you love it. Oh, this one's missing a berry. I'll be right back. It's missing a berry. Berry. I'm a Thrawn. And for that one person that said maybe do bows, I'll take a look at it and see. Hi. Or maybe one big bow or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I really am happy with the way it turned out. So thank you for your guys' comments and suggestions. Without you guys, I probably would have put it on the side, which isn't a bad thing. It just, mm. I like the way it turned out. Yeah. All right. What's your thoughts, Sean? It's done. It's gorgeous. I know it's sideways, but it looks gorgeous. We can go. Th we can go this way. I love it. Let me see it this way. Oh, it's perfect. I love it. I kind of like it, no black and white down here because it really brings the black and white focus yeah. and the dots of red everywhere. You could incorporate a little red berries through the tree. That would be kind of cool, but I think it's perfected right now. 
Gorgeous and unique. Yep, cool. All right, guys. So thanks for joining us yes, and having fun. Much. This is exactly how I envisioned it being. And thank you for all of your input because you guys, I got, we, I love it when you guys are here and giving ideas because it's truly like a group effort then. Mm -hmm. And it becomes even, you know, when we, this will be auctioned off, it becomes a piece where people are like, oh, I need to have it because I helped with it and stuff. So mm -hmm. I love it. I am all about this year, you guys, adding sprigs into things. So if you haven't noticed, we've done this one. We also did... Which one? This one here that I, I added some sprigs to. So if you missed that, we did that and we added a bow to this one. So fun. So I'm kind of on this kick of adding greenery to stuff. So hopefully you enjoy it. But I love the way this turned out. It's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, guys. So thanks for joining me. We yes. will be back tomorrow for our 45 Days Alive again on this channel. So check us out then. Uh, if you have any questions on Chocotour, reach out to myself on Facebook or YouTube, email, mm -hmm. and uh, we try to get caught up with them the next day as much we as try. possible. Yes, so um, the auction, uh, I don't know when it specifically is, but I will give you guys at least a week heads up before we auction it, but yeah. it's going to be close because we have probably over 30 pieces now There's we need to get rid of. Lot. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're taking over Everything our Everything you see room. is pretty much up for auction. I agree, Sue. Adding 3D to all projects is awesome. Yes. yes. And I love, as soon as I saw these with the bells, I was like, this is my project tonight. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Bye, everyone. Bye. Oh, my goodness, little miss.